When we watch sports on TV, often if we have a family dog, it's right alongside, especially if we have food. I know I differ greatly from the athletes I'm watching, but I was curious, as I watch a dog show, how different are those canine performers on TV from the family dogs across the country? Fortunately, I have certified experts on hand to consult, including 21-year National Dog Show co-host David Fry, who's also a breeder owner of Champion Afghan Hounds, and certified behavioral consultant, radio host, and pet book author Steve Dale. Almost all of us like to give treats to our dogs, but what is it those show dogs keep getting? I'm told it's as diverse as the dogs themselves. Bits of hot dog, cooked liver, chicken, steak, or even popcorn or pizza. Sometimes it's a favorite toy. Whatever gets the dog's attention, and as the dog pays attention, so do the judge and the spectators. It's estimated about half of all dogs in this country actually sleep with a family member. Is that true of show dogs? Answer, there are no figures, but very likely true, no different. Do show dogs shake with nervousness when they go to the vet? Likely not as much as the regular population since the well-educated owners have conditioned their dogs for not only vet visits, but other dramatic events. Compared to family dogs, show dogs feel more blow dryers, drink a greater percentage of bottled water, and smell more hair products. They also smell a larger number of dogs. In some shows, they share space with as many as 2,000 entries. But even though not all show dogs nor family dogs are fed from the dining table, plenty are, and like any dog, the same dog who will be trotting into a show ring in front of thousands is the same who earlier in the week shed hair on an owner's dark clothes or tried to steal food off the counter. Dog show cheering sections form in living rooms, perhaps for a specific breed or for one dog's performance that just wins us over. But after the best is crowned and the show concludes, we join ranks with those more heralded canines and their owners and return to this one common ground. Whether from a breeder or a shelter, these special creatures of ours were chosen. And their greeting with each new day of a willing lick and a wagging tail, and their being at hand in good times and bad in our lives has made them incredibly valuable. Whether they will ever be in a spotlight is not so important as what a loyal friend they are. Milan Kundera, a literary prize winner who, to my knowledge, never went to a dog show, summed it up well when he wrote, quote, Dogs are our link to paradise. To sit with a dog on a hillside on a glorious afternoon is to be back in Eden, where doing nothing was not boring, it was peace. End of quote. Peace. Especially these days, the most important moments of all.